Hola, I'm Jeanette from the Hispanic Festival, and this is Gloria, makeup artist. Face painting, it's a big part of Dia de los Muertos. It is a mixture of Catholic beliefs with religions of the Aztec. The face painting, it's done to either represent a deceased loved one or as an expression of themselves. First, uh, we prepared the face with a whole white foundation um, and the white represents purity and hope. After the white foundation is done, then um, they will start with the eyes and the eyes are usually painted black, which represents our deceased loved ones. The look that we're trying to create, create right now, it's the look of a Katrina. Um, I'm sure you have heard of them. It, that is the, that was created by uh, Jose Guadalupe Posada, but wasn't very famous until uh, Diego Rivera painted her. Um, La Katrina has been used as an icon now as for uh, Dia de los Muertos and obviously represents the dead people. Um, it also represents women and men, both uh, to pretty much say like we're all equal. So the color yellow represents the marigold flower and the meaning for using the marigold, uh, marigold flower in Dia de los Muertos is because it attracts the spirits of our deceased loved ones to come back and enjoy of their most favorite delicious food, drinks, music. That's what we do on the altars. We put all of their favorite stuff. The orange represents the sun. The purple represents the pain. As you can see, it's all kind of emotions, uh, colors. That's why it's so colorful. Um, this uh, holiday is a very colorful day for us because it's just a bunch of different mix of emotions, uh, happiness, sadness, everything at once. <laughs> The red color represents blood. Painting the eyes black represents the land of the dead.
and the pink color represents uh, celebration. So more red, that means blood. So the basically the main image that we're trying to create, obviously, is of a Katrina, like I mentioned before, um, and it is in a skeleton. So we obviously try to just make the face look a little like in a skeleton. <laughs> <clears throat> So the gold represents the tradition. Uh, back then it was um, believed, you know, that the tradition is worth gold. So that's what it represents. I believe that as well. <laughs> And more gold, because gold represents the traditions, and we should never forget where we come from. We should always embrace our culture, our traditions, and be proud of uh, what our ancestors left behind. And this is what a Katrina makeup look, looks like. Uh, now you can choose uh, any colors you would like. Now you know the meaning of every single color. Um, as we mentioned before, this is a celebration. So we just like to have all those different colors that the, represents all the different stuff. Um, I know there's pain, there's blood, but most importantly, it is a celebration. On Dia de los Muertos, on the actual Day of the Dead, we use the marigold uh, to attract all those spirits to come back. To come back and enjoy at the altars that we set up. We put all their favorite drinks, 
so they can enjoy their favorite food and music. We do have lots of music because we want them to enjoy, but most importantly, our presence. We know they're close by and we know it in our heart that they do come back to enjoy our presence one more time. So this is uh, Katrina Makeup and Feliz Dia de los Muertos. Happy Day of the Dead.